eight hours until install time and of course uh, a big snowstorm go figure all right guys it's 6 30 in the morning hour and a half until two 53 foot trucks show up at the building to unload the snow has stopped i'm heading off i'm excited i'm nervous laurie how you feeling ready to get this day going. <laughs> That's true. I'm gonna go get Stuart meet up with the rest of the install crew and uh, oh my gosh guys, today it's here. I mean, it seems unreal. So let's just go ahead and get this day on the road. And we're here guys. Uh, it is gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. Stuart's here, a couple other friends are here. Uh, everyone that's helping out with the install crew is on its way. And this place is gonna look completely different in just a handful of hours. I'm deep breaths, man. I'm, I can't even express. For whatever reason, today feels more emotional than the first one. I'm not sure why, but like, it's just crazy. I mean, I, I don't know what it's about, but I'm freaking out, but in a good way. So, okay. Um, Let's do this, let's get it going. The truck should be here in about a half hour. Last time, if you remember, the forklift actually got stuck. Now it's in a bunch of snow. Let's hope for the best, guys. Like that at home. Go for it, Stuart. So the truck is here. Uh, we're about to see. Let's hope there's not a bunch of little pieces in there. Hey, how are you, man? How are you? Thank you. <laughs> This is the one that's not loaded so much, the first one. So this is the best one to get well, at the moment. Well, the Anaconda cage looks like it's uh, still intact, so that's yes. good. Yeah. All right, so, hey guys, we could just start unloading all these panels if you guys want. Yeah, I gotta take this door out real quick. It should just pop off, so let's hold. Yeah, just the furthest one off, yeah. Okay, got it? Hold it. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'll set it Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess coming. Well, first enclosure inside, of course, the front of the Anaconda case. Literally, uh, remember about that measurement thing? Uh, yeah, it was like this close to not fitting in the building. That would have been a disaster. Let's hope everything else fits a little bit better. Okay. I guess the measurements are wrong, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, slide it right onto that. Yeah, oh, let's go. Yeah, so what we're going to have to do is instead of dolling it in, we're just going to have to push it in on the actual. Push it back. Thing, so. apologize. Not ideal, but there's nothing we can do. Are you guys okay? Yep, all good. Okay. Big guy. Just 
squeeze the bar. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Obviously, we gotta work on getting stuff in the door. Truck's gonna be here in 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes. So, uh, I got these chucks. Alright, I don't know anything about them, but I, I put them on the ground and roll. Oh, yep, yep. That's how they built the pyramids. So, the idea is this going forward is let's move the right cages in at the right time. It was supposed to go like this. This cage, that cage, that cage, that cage, then that cage. Because now we can't get the pallet jack in over here. Now we're going to fight with that one. So rather than working twice as hard to do, because now we're going to have to lift that cage. So rather than lifting, we could have just pallet jacked it in. Now we can't. Crossing guard staff side. Okay, all of you guys, just hold up. Here we go. Cut it more. He's got to cut it more. Whoa, whoa, hey. Hold on. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> what is going on? This is this truck driver. I guarantee you has never driven before. <laughs> no, they're fine. We'll see you later. <laughs> this is try number three. Oh uh, yeah. First off, he was down the street for 15 minutes saying he was at another place saying he was here. Then when he finally figured out it wasn't, I had to go get him. And then now it's been about a half hour just watching this guy trying to park this truck. So first guy was in one shot. Oh well, hey, this is the way it is. Let's we'll keep going. I think I sent it a little too hard, boys. Okay, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have insurance? No, no, no I don't. <laughs> okay. going inside. Oh, 83. I'm busy, man. Good I'll, 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 I'll be back. Ready? All right. You want to give me a quick measurement? Thanks, guys. Let me come up on it. A little higher. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're just gonna push you in. All right. So we gotta lift up and push on in. Okay, slow, 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 slow. Literally, I spent the last month planning every move that we're gonna make. Not one bit of it worked. Not one, not one bit, not one bit. It just completely, uh, I just, I never am gonna plan again because it didn't work out. So, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So we actually have to put the heat panels here, these fiberglass heat panels on. So we're, we don't have enough room inside. We didn't realize we didn't have the height. We we're a little bit off on that. So we actually have to lift this up now that we can secure the panel out here and then take it in. And uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. I think I might be in trouble. That's going to laugh from you guys. With, with don't <laughs> kill me. I need to see this done. Yeah, as soon as it's done, I don't care if I die. Just let me get it done first. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah, you are! Guys, guys, stop! Let me get 
get out of here. Let him get out of here. Mid side down, guys. Good. Lower. Slow down. You got left side needs to push first. A <laughs> what? I tried to end it. You wouldn't let the cage fall on me. I'm still pretty stressed. I'll be honest with you. Not quite halfway done. Something like that. And it's going really well. Everyone is doing an amazing job helping. I can't thank them enough for coming out, but my stomach is in knots right now. Just the stress of it all. Um, I'll be, I, yeah, I think we have about three hours left before I'll be able to breathe a little bit, but uh, it's, it's coming together, slowly but surely. A lot of misplanning on my part, so uh, I'll, take the, I'll take the heat for that one. Okay, are all the cages in? And I walked outside and went, oh, there's, there's a lot outside. Dude, it's insane. I can't believe the turnout of people, man. This is awesome. It's like a little army. I feel bad that I'm not doing anything, but every time you look over, it's just like. You don't feel that bad. No, I don't. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty sweet. cool. You know, I'm just kidding. But it's, it's really exciting, though. What's your favorite thing? Don't make me choose, man. It's probably. Probably, ooh, it's between the turtle pond. I know that sounds weird. I just can't wait to see all those little turtles in there. And salt and pepper's cage is gonna be really, really cool. Look at that thing, dude. It's insane. Well, what's your favorite? So, like, honestly, well, I'm kind of a biased. Oh my God, look, I mean, like you said, this will be a great spot for him to lay out, for the heat to come down to. I mean, this is just a, just a beautifully done cage. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't be more impressed about this. Like, Stewart did such a, wow. I mean, like, there's just no words for it. Look at this thing. So, uh, the first aisle is completely in. I, and, and guys, I realize that when you see the wood and the foam, it doesn't look as cool. This is gonna be rocked out. There's gonna be trees. It's all gonna look so cool. So, uh, when it's all together, it's gonna look so much better than it does. But that's it, the first aisle is in. Now we're working on, now we're working on the center aisle. <laughs> two people on the side, moving the braces to center them in the middle. We're gonna move back my way two inches towards the alligator tank, okay? Go! What you think? Take me through. I'll censor it. It's fine. It's a, it's a deep, deep, dark tunnel. I can't take you down. <laughs> this is madness, man. Absolutely madness. Hopefully, nobody dies. <laughs> we'll see. The amount of strokes I'm having. <laughs> All right, so this is the part that I was super excited about. It's the time to start taking the wall down. Now, we're not ready to take the foam out yet. I have been so waiting for this moment. We're gonna take all the fake rock on this side down. That way, the other side, as soon as we get in and close the doors, get the heat up so that we're obviously not getting cold air in here. We can actually bust this wall in and uh, the Reptera will be open forever. All right, Dora's back on. The heat is up. We're cranking the heat up. As soon as the heat is good enough, that wall comes out. I am super stoked. This is the moment I was kind of waiting for, but now all the enclosures are in. Uh, we have a lot of work left, but it is coming together really amazing, and this wall is about to come down. One eternity later. All right, guys, it is time to open up the wall. First off, I want to thank every single person here. You guys are amazing. Without you, we wouldn't do this. I'm sorry I was stressed out all day. We're going to open this wall up. You guys are going to see it along with us, so I'm super excited to have you guys. So let's go ahead and just do it, all right? Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Wow. 
It's crazy, man. Oh my gosh. Now it's the Reptarium. It's no longer the Reptarium expansion. It's now the Reptarium. So thank you guys. All right, there I don't like that laugh, Stuart. What was that laugh about, bro? That was a scary laugh. That's a scary Threading laugh. Threading the needle, eh? Oh, we really oh. push our boundaries, don't we? <laughs> Dude, it's, it's unreal. It's one thing to like talk about it and you put the tape on the floor and everything else, but then when you see it, it's incredible. Isn't it's incredible. Crazy yeah, it's when you stand back here and look, it looks so big. But it's, it's like a Walmart. Walmart. It's like a Walmart. <laughs> Except there's nothing cool to buy. You can only look. Don't touch. You can't touch. There's plushies, though. There's the red. That is true. And stickers. But look at that turtle pond. The turtle pond is the highlight of my life. Are you? And that seems like it's, that's the most excited thing. For I you, don't. Right? Why? Yeah. Why? It's just turtles. Turtle yeah. It's. I'm on a turtle kick. <laughs> I wish I could have walked Mary through the threshold here. My name's Jeff. <laughs> fingers. Anaconda cage is in right here. We're just kind of working on shimming. We have a little bit of issue with it just lining up perfectly, but we're slowly working it out. I've got great people working on it, so uh, it's gonna work its way out, I'm sure. But uh, this is the centerpiece I've been talking about since we started, and now it's in, and this really gives you the idea of what this place looks like. Even coming from the Reptarium of old, you're gonna walk around the corner of the turtle pond here, Anaconda cage, and over here. So uh, it's definitely coming together pretty quickly. Wow, what a crazy day, guys. It's uh, it's on, man. The Reptarium is officially expanded. I mean, we got a lot of work to do, but thank you for coming along. I hope that you'll come and join us on March 13th, the opening weekend. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, I am beyond happy that today didn't go as planned, but went amazing, and I had some incredible help, and I can't thank everyone that came out to help us out. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I have a podcast now. Stuart's gonna be on the next one, as a matter of fact. You can subscribe to that podcast channel right here. You can roll through an entire playlist of vlogs if you so choose right here. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button to this vlog. Turn the post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.